Our Nine Cares Colorado Shares Drive is going on right now. We partner with Food Bank of the Rockies around the state to raise money to feed those in need in our community. There is a QR code on the bottom of your screen right there. You see it kind of small next to the Nine News logo. That's where you can donate, but we wanted to talk about some of the impacts of food insecurity with our Nine News health expert, Dr. Pio Coley. Dr. Coley, thank you for being with us. Welcome back from vacation. Well deserved you. on your <laughs> end. This is so important. I was hoping that we could just start off by talking about the impacts that food really has on our health overall. You know, it's so interesting, Jordan and Corey, but when you have food insecurity, which is defined as sort of a worry about paying for food or not the ability to not have enough food, it can change all aspects of your life, from your behavior, from your health, from your mental health, even how our kids grow, yeah. essentially. And what we see is that people who have food insecurity reach for sort of less fresh food, uh, less fruits and vegetables, more processed food, because that's usually more inexpensive, it's easier to store. And you can imagine all of those are deficient in nutrients that can lead to problems with nutritional deficiencies, problems with our bones, problems with our immune system, even long-term chronic problems like high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. Right. So how can hunger affect our physical health, especially when it comes to kids? Yeah, you know, the development is really what worries me there, because what we've seen is that kids who have food insecurity have problems with their physical growth and development. Mm -hmm. They have problems with their behaviors, of course. They keep getting sick over and over again. And because we're not giving them these high quality foods, we're really setting them on a path that creates a cycle where when they grow up, they start manifesting many of those behaviors because you basically eat what you grew up eating. Yeah. And so they start reaching for more of those processed foods and they start developing adulthood, obesity mm -hmm. and diabetes and high blood pressure and some of those chronic problems as and, well. And we often think about the physical pain of hunger, right? But there's also the mental toll that it takes as well, which can cause problems for you currently and later. Later in life. Very much so. So what we're learning is that mothers who have like a school-aged child that may actually be hungry can have a 50% higher risk of PTSD, almost a trauma from not being able to provide for your child, and a 50% higher risk of severe depression. We're also seeing a lot of substance use in adults because when they're hungry, they can't eat. They sometimes reach for alcohol, or reach for cigarettes, or something else to sort of suppress that hunger, sometimes coffee, those types of things as well. Eating disorders is huge because you're always thinking about food and how to minimize how much you're spending on food, so you end up developing eating disorders where you sort of talk your brain into eating right. less as a way to minimize food. And then we also see a lot of these effects in kids as well, including behavioral effects. Oh my goodness. How can we fight food insecurity? You know, it's important for every single one of us to first, I think, put down our flag and acknowledge the fact that one out of 10 Coloradans is struggling with food insecurity. So it's not something that's extremely rare. It's actually something that's more common than we think. Mm -hmm. And I think acknowledging that is the first step to us getting together as a community and having drives like this to really help people because it's not just about what's in your cabinet, what's yeah. in your refrigerator, but it's about do you have enough that you can help somebody else in need because it could have significant effects on their child. I mean, they're, we know that bullying mm -hmm. behavior goes up mm -hmm. when kids are food insecure. Yeah. We know that kids have you know, autism, hyperactivity, all these other behavioral problems. Oh, it just breaks your heart to yeah. think about that. Dr. Coley, thank you so much. So here's all the details about our Nine Cares Colorado Shares Drive. It's going on right now through December 3rd. You can scan the QR code on the screen right now to get to the donation page. This information is also on our website as well. You can also donate by calling into our telethon next Thursday, November 16th, and you can always donate when you shop at King Supers. And